is Marilyn Margold. I'm the Director of Living Collections at the South Florida Museum. Carina brevis, as it's known to the scientist, is um, a microalgae that blooms, and when it does blooms, it, it can be harmful. It has um, toxins in it that can affect the central nervous system on birds, fish, and marine mammals, as well as people that are walking the beaches. And when there are massive blooms, the water appears sort of reddish brown, and that's how it sort of gets the nickname Red Tide. You know, dolphins have a, bit, a little bit of an issue with it, but they have a blowhole on the top of their head, so they're not sitting with their nose just to sit right on the surface the way a manatee's does. But um, any marine mammal can have an issue with it. And for manatees, it's not just their respiratory system, but the Red Tide settles on the seaweed that they eat, and their food becomes toxic to them. So that's the big issue with red tide. And it's, it is a natural phenomenon, but there's a lot of other things that, that fall into play with that. All we know is we're setting record numbers in, in terms of um, finding manatees and sending them up to the path lab. You know, this year over 500 um, manatees have gone and more than half of that has been a result of red tide. That's why it's so important is that it settles on the food, it gets into their body, and you may not see signs of what's wrong with them until it's too late. The cold tends to discourage the growth of red tide, and we've had some mild winters, so we don't have manatees with, with cold stress, but unfortunately we have the other problem with you know, more expansive red tide issues. It can move around between the currents and the winds and the tides. It can change locations, so it's just something that red tide people have to constantly keep their eyes on. We're talking about adding an exhibit here at the museum where we're talking about red tide and what's going on and the research that's involved. And I think just, you know, uh, constantly talking about it and people will certainly notice when they walk the beach, they'll see, start to see more dead fish and that kind of thing happening. And, and just, I think, you know, the local news stations have done a very good job of talking about it. So I think it's just a matter of being on top of it and then relating the information that's available at the time. <music>